What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Sasuke with his Chidori. So I have a young Sasuke with his Chidori from the original Naruto series. This one is like when Sasuke has his Renegan awakened and stuff. So it's older Sasuke, basically. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. So complicated enough sort of pose, right? Cause the head is tilted, right? So his head is, he's like leaning to the side and his arm goes all the way back out here okay and he's got the chidori activated back there so we're going to start with his right eye over here so i'm just along the center line of my page my this landscape page right so we're just over here to the left right so center point along that middle line you just come over to the left a little bit more and we're going to start with his right eye and his, his other eyes over here. So the side of his head will come down about, about here, all the way down there, right? So his two eyes are in here. So let's go. Let's go curved anime eye. Standard sort of curve on it. So the line for his head is like this. So that's like the angle. We're diagonal. So like the other eye is going to be down from this one. We're not straight. Okay, that's the main thing to remember. So you can thicken up this eyelid line. And then we're gonna bring it diagonal down this way. Like so, and then around, and across. And he does have like a line, like an eyelid line just underneath here, like so. So then his pupil, so just here near the top, because he's like, He's attacking someone like up over this way. So he's looking off to the, to the left hand side, right? And then around that we have those circles that are, that the Renegan is made up of. So we just do first one, around like so. Then you do another one. Trying your best to keep them circular. Of course, if you have a compass or something, that would make it a lot easier. Next one, like so. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And we can maybe see another one just off to the side here and maybe one coming out the back there of course he has those commas or those tome um things on the inner circles i think just on sasuke's so let's see we can see like one or two so like one say i'll put one here put one up here like that and then Maybe one below these two. You just do a dot and then a tail sticking off. And put another one up here. And there probably is one other just underneath his eyelid so we can't see it. Okay, so we'll go over <clears throat> And we'll do, no, we'll do his eyebrow first, Never mind. So we'll do his eyebrow first, just a tick, real easy. Like this. And we're gonna make it longer. Like so, it's real long. And you can thicken up the bottom a little bit. Something like that. And Top eyelid line, just curving across here. Might come down just underneath down here somewhere a little bit, just down there maybe. Okay. 
okay? So we're gonna go down for the next eye. So we're gonna go diagonal down this way. And start it about here. So the main thing to, thing, the main thing to, I can't talk. The main thing to remember is you want to be about eye distance across, right? Naruto eyes for, for anime, they are actually in proportion. They're not like overly big. So this width will fit just about in between his two tear ducts, okay? Down here. And look how low I'm gone. So this next eye starts like underneath, diagonal down here, okay? So, curve a line. Over. It's about there. Like so, and again, so look, your, your diagonal, they line up that way. And then you can thicken up this top eyelid line. And then we'll bring this one down diagonal and then across. Like so. So that's what we're aiming for. Down there. And don't worry if it's a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Always remember that. Humans aren't actually symmetrical. I know everyone thinks we are, but we're not perfectly symmetrical. We have one eye bigger than the other, one nostril bigger than the other. You know, so don't beat yourself up too much. And then semicircle. He's got his regular Sharingan eye in this one, not the Mangekyo. You could put Mangekyo in it if you wanted, but I'll just do what's in the picture. Just keep it consistent. And then his pupil, again, kind of up near the top like this one. Just in there. Some of those tome again, or commas. So like one here. Yeah, like one there and then maybe one more. Okay, and there should be like, so he's three. So like one, yeah, there should be one here then. And then there's one more up under his eye. And then there like can be a circle connecting them. Just going around here and maybe going up that way. Like so. His eyebrow then is a tick, just like the other side. Goes up. This one we can't see as much because it goes underneath hair, so. Don't worry too much about the end of it goes up underneath his hair. And yeah, we can thicken up the end. And we'll give him an eyelid line, just coming across here. Like so, and something like underneath as well. Okay, so I, eyes are diagonal that way and his head is diagonal this way. So this is the line for the eye. So then his nose, we can just see a diagonal curved line going down that way. And then we can see the sort of pointy sort of section for that here. And then a nostril, like so. So his mouth is teeth, teeth open, right? So we got a top lip, comes across like so. So it looks like a closed mouth, but then we'll open it up. We'll just go diagonal down, both sides like so. Looks like he's really angry now or sad or something. <laughs> and then this thing curves across like that. And we'll just add some teeth lines inside. So you don't have to do too much. For teeth, you just need to suggest them a little bit, like that, and the, your mind will fill in the rest. 
It's the magic of drawing. You don't have to draw in every single tooth. Some animes do it. Some some animators like to do it, add all the details, but not necessary sometimes. If you want to do it, of course, that's up to you. So his chin, just here. Okay, now you can check your proportions. So eyes to nose to his nostril line there, right? About the middle of his eyes is a, yeah. About the middle of his eyes is about the same as nose to chin. So here to here is the same as here to here. Now I'm going diagonally, I'm not going straight. We're going like as if it was a straight face. So here to here, same as here to here. And then where his bottom lip would be, like in here, from chin to his bottom lip, is about the same as bottom lip to just the bottom of his nose there. So here to here, same as here to here, okay? So once you get those lines, we can do his jaw on this side. There's hair all coming down here, so we can only see one jaw. So this will go up. Diagonal like so. You wanna stop about across from his <clears throat> top lip. And then you're gonna change direction and go up like so. Okay, it stops about here because of his ear. And we can go up a little bit more with his jaw on this side, but we can't really go that far, just like about here, okay? So, Lots of hair, let's go. So on this side, we can just see a bit of his ear, right? It's just coming up underneath the hair, like so. And then we have a hairline, a big hair spike, right? That goes all the way, where does it go? It goes to here somewhere, like right here. So, and then in under here, you can see some ear bones and ligaments and things like, you know, all the ear lines and things like that. And then maybe a sideburn line somewhere like here. Then he's some fringe that comes down over his face and then hair that comes down over the other side. So we'll do the fringe first. So very particular kind of hair spikes on Sasuke. And of course you can erase any lines that are underneath the hair that we shouldn't see. So. Right, so then we have another one comes down across here. Next, hair spike, right down across his nose, and then this one goes up that way. And then another one here across his eyebrow, back up like so, down again, back up to there. And then hair comes down right across his eye. And then this is gonna come out across his face, right? So it's gonna go. Like that. So it's like the wind is blowing the hair this way. Back like so. And then we have a big spike coming down. There. Then it goes back up to here. Down like 
like so. So I'll just erase any lines that are underneath the hair that we shouldn't see. Okay, so let's finish the hair on this side. So just bring it up a bit further. And then we have another spike coming down here. And this will travel all the way up around to the top hair spikes right up here, okay? So it's gonna go all the way. Starts to curve. So it goes up. And then starts to bend around the top of its head and then comes up to another spike up here. Like so. So I'd say you're going the whole, his from his chin to his fringe, you're going up that distance again. So this is about halfway from here to here. This, about the same as this. Okay, so next spike here. Next spike comes up here, like down. And then we go out, down. Another one, <coughs> out, down. And one, two, Three, and then one comes down this way. And then we go back in. And then a longer one. And another long one that like comes off his head here. That, and then Okay, a couple of small ones then behind his ear. Like so. And... Right, then we'll do get his body, the rest of his body and his collar and stuff. Right, so the collar, it's kind of all ripped and torn. He's been fighting, so... It kind of comes out, zigzag, sort of lines around. Like that. And then we'll bring it down like so. That kind of thing. And it meets it meets the zipper sort of section right here. So we go a little ball and then the part that you pull down. And then this will go across the other side. up this way and then cross underneath his hair and then eventually you're going to start going back up around the back of his head so like up to here you yeah, know and it's got some torn segments as well like so so then the inside of it so that's the outside of his collar and you can just see like his neck, just the side of it, just here. Like so. And so then, the other side of that collar comes out this way. Comes down. Into here. Zipper on the other side. And then the other side of the collar, just here. And to there. And then the zipper on the other side of this one, just an extra line, just following the line you drew already. Collarbones then. 
one there. Collarbone's always going the direction of where the shoulder is. So his, his Chidori arm is going back that way, so his shoulder is up here somewhere. That means the collarbone always points to the direction of the shoulder. Like if you feel your own collarbone in your shoulder, it always goes from the middle of your neck all the way over to your shoulder joint. So it's good to sort of know that because it's like a little trick. You know where the shoulders are. Shoulder has to be over here then, because look where it's pointing. Here. So then his shoulder is over here. So it has to be. So we just go down. See? Shoulder joint. Down like so. And then he's got like fold clothing just there. Another line or two going down the middle of his body. Fold line down here. From underneath, maybe chest line coming up the middle. And then the other side of his torso, so if his shoulder is here, the other side of his torso has to like come down here, okay? So, shoulder will be in here, right? So, because it has to be. Because that's where the collarbone is pointing. So then the rest of his torso comes down here. that and kind of sticks off for his hip just there and then he's got that thing that's tied around his waist so like so can't see much of it down here but that's about it really Okay, so rest of his arm, so we go out like so. Down for his sleeve, this comes around, and back into his armpit, down here. Like so. Okay, so the rest of his arm extends out this way. So we've got his forearm. Up and down. Bottom comes down, up, like so. Might have like a bicep line or something just here. I like that, you know, the line just for the where the bicep meets the middle of the forearm. And then he's got a arm brace or something on, right? So like a wristband here. So that's just a curve line. And then this will come down further to there. Curves around, like so. And then we'll bring it back up underneath his forearm. Then his hand is gonna come out of this, okay? So, comes out like so, down. So take your time with hands, they're tricky. Then the underneath, so we have, like so. And then his thumb will come out just here. Curves around like so. Hands up. Out. This is like his knuckles for his thumb. Like that kind of thing. Okay, like his hand is doing this kind of. Okay, and we're drawing his thumb at the minute. So on the other side of the thumb, we have the index. So the index finger comes down, sticks out, back in. There's like a skin line there. Thumbnail somewhere, like here. And then we can see three finger, three more, one, two, yeah, three more fingers going across just here, sort of hanging out down the bottom. So line there. Comes down. That. Then the next one.
kind of this kind of thing. Like so. Okay, and then, so the Chidori sort of lines. Right, so basically, um, if you're coloring it, that's cool. You know, you could do it white and blue and stuff, but I got a black marker, so I'm gonna just go ahead and like add kind of lightning lines coming out here. Like so, so you gotta like change direction every now and then. This kind of thing. So, yeah, then you kind of just keep going with this. And they get kind of thinner as you go up. page and we go around the hand so like you add like longer ones that stick out here but you can do shorter ones if you want so it's handy to just go around the hand first Just go around and decide where you want the longer ones to stick out and where you want the shorter ones to stick out. Just keep going. Just kind of trying to make them look like as lightningy as you can. Like so. And then add some longer ones. literally do as much of this as you want there's no real rule per se
But that is the basic idea for Sasuke with his Rinnegan, older Sasuke, and his Chidori. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.